क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वट इज द राइट मोस्ट डिजिट प्रिसीडिंग द जीरो इन द वैल्यू ऑफ थर्टी टू द पावर थर्टी so definitely this number 30 to the power of 30 is going to ending with lot of zeros at the end we need to find what is the right most digit that comes before that zero so this question is purely an application of unit digit and cyclicity concepts so if you remember those that we have done in the sessions this question would be very easy to solve it okay so what i'm going to do first is 30 to the power of 30 i'm going to find out how many zeros are there okay so to find out how many zeros are there at the end you need to figure out how many uh, you can easily split it down so it's going to be 3 to the power of 30 times 10 to the power of 30 how many tens are there to find out how many zeros right so definitely there is going to be 30 zeros at the end and the unit digit or the rightmost digit before the zero is actually based on the unit digit of this term because the remaining is going to be zero right so the unit digit of this term is going to be your answer so how will you find the unit digit of 3 to the power 30 so as we discuss in the like you know in the sessions it's not a practical idea to find out what is the actual value of 3 to the power 30 because we don't have that much time so what we're going to do is we're going to use the cyclicity concept Right, the cyclicity cyclicity of uh, three is four. If you don't know like about cyclicity, I'm going to explaining it uh, uh, right now. So to find out the cyclicity here is what we're going to do is we're going to find out a pattern in the powers of three for the unit digit. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. So I'm starting with three to the power one. The unit digit of three to the power one is three. The next is three to the power two, which is nine. 3 to the power 3 is 27. I am taking only the unit digit which is 7. 3 to the power 4 is nothing but 81. I am taking the unit digit is 1. Okay. Now I am going to start with 3 to the power 5. So it's not, you don't need to always multiply 3 by itself 5 times to get the, what is the unit digit of 3 to the power 5, okay? So what you're going to do is, you can take the unit digit of 3 to the power 4, then you multiply by 3, which is equivalent to 3 to the power 5. That's something that you can do. So I know the unit digit of 3 to the power 4 is 1. You multiply that by 3, so unit digit of 3 to the power 5 is 3 again. And 3 to the power 6, again, they use the same logic. I'm taking this unit digit. You multiply that by 3, which is nothing but 9. So 3 to the power 7, seven. I'm going to use the same logic here. I'm taking what is the unit digit of 3 to the power 6. You multiply by 3 again, you find out the unit digit. Because we have focused only on the unit digit. Because we just need to find out what is the right most digit. Okay, that is the reason we are ignoring the remaining digits. Okay, so this is going to be equal to the unit digit of 3 to the power 6 is 9. You multiply by 3 is 27. I'm taking only the unit digit 7. 3 to the power 8 is nothing but again 7 times 3 is 21. I'm taking only the unit digit 1. Now you can see a pattern. See, 3, 9, 7, 1 again, 3, 9, 7, 1. Again, it's going to repeat. So now what we're going to do is, so it's going to be a series like this. 3, 9, 7, 1, then again 3, 9, 7, 1, goes on like that. So I need to find out what is going to be unit digit of 3 to the power 30. And you can see it's a pattern length is 4. That is the cyclicity. See, cyclicity is 4. So it's a repetition. So I can see that 3 to the power 4 is going to be 1 unit digit. 3 to the power 8 is going to be the same as 1. 3 to the power 12. 3 to the power 16, 3 to the power 20. So any multiple of 4 here will be ending with 1. So now what, we, what we're going to do is find out what is a close multiple of 4 here. So close multiple of 4 is 28. So I can clearly say that 3 to the power 28 is going to be ending with 1. See, same logic. Next number is going to be what? 3 to the power 29. Again, it's cycle. It's coming with 3. And 3 to the power 30 is nothing but the next in the cycle which is 9. So the unit digit of 3 to the power 30 is going to be 9. So this is how you should do it. So you don't need to do this in your exam time because ideally you should remember what is the cyclicity of these digits, the powers. 2, 3, 4 up until 9, what are the cyclicity? So that's easy for you to uh, figure out the answer.
within seconds you could do it so if you remember that it's very easy see 3 to the power 30 if you know that cyclicity is 4 what you need to do is you take the power which is 30 okay then you take yeah i know the cyclicity is 4 right so you take the power you divide by 4 find out the remainder if the remainder is 1 that means it's going to be the first term in the series or it is equivalent to the 3 raised to the power 1. This is going to be the first term in the series. So unit digit is equivalent to 3. If the remainder is 2, which is equivalent to the second term in the series, which is nothing but 3 to the power 2. This is the second term, right? Which is nothing but 9. If the remainder is 3, it's going to be equivalent to the third term in the series, which is 3 to the power 3, which is nothing but uh, 7. Unit digit of 3 to the power 3 is 7. Of, or if the remainder is 0, 0 means it's a multiple of 4. So when you divide any number by 4, the remainder is going to be either 1, 2, 3 or 0, which is multiple of 4. Right? It's going to be the fourth term or nothing but 3 to the power 4, which is nothing but 1. The unit digit is 1. So you don't, so remember the pattern length. You don't need to remember the, like, you don't need to remember the series because it will be very complicated for you. So remember the pattern length series you can ge generate by yourself at that moment right so it's very simple 30 you divide by 4 the remainder what is the remainder the remainder is going to be 2 so it's going to be the second term in the series which is equivalent to 3 to the power 2 which is 9 so your answer is option d is the right answer for the question option d is the right answer so if you remember the unit digit concept and how to use the cyclicity as we discuss in the, in the classes then this question is very easy for you okay so if you don't remember this make sure that you uh, go through the videos and familiarize with the cyclicity concept and try to uh, apply in some